that you're all making too much sense right now. So let's go to something that completely <laughs> okay, doesn't sir. make any sense at all. Hobart, at least two guys, and he's getting a groundswell of opinion that Hobart yeah. should host the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. That's the go. I mean, I know it's funny and I know it's probably the not that serious. In but Hobart? Is, there, is the reality is that these fellows are taking it seriously now. 2020, they'll have a David Boone stand, all that sort of thing. A Come on, dome. bossy. Get your drinking short. socks on if you turn up to the David Boone stand. Ken, <laughs> so, you want me to have an opinion on this? There is more chance of Iceland hosting the Olympic Games with a volcanic ash cloud over it than there is of Hobart. The only chance Hobart would have of hosting the Games is if some rich Saudi with some very big chains and a very big boat put it around Tasmania and tugged it all the way off into the Indian Ocean somewhere off uh, oh, look at that off, uh, off Africa. Uh, and this is all on the west side. Mega, that. Please. This is their website. I'm this please. is their you go, on, to, down, please. you go to this website, Bossy. They're positive. Please. Positive and thinkers down there. I mean, there's please. the Reggie Dome. You know, Reggie off, you know, big brother. This is big names. You know, they're, 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 they've got an organising committee called HOCOG. HOCOG. <laughs> <laughs> Mudgy, Mudgy for the Olympic yeah. Games. Ken Sutcliffe to bring the <laughs> flame right. into the stadium. Yeah, the Ken Narramine. Sutcliffe Stadium. That's what we can do. Mudgy, Mudgy Narramine, Park. Park. I'm thinking so positively. I, let, I hope they prepare as though they've got the Olympics because let me tell you, they need a new hotel down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit tired. Let's uh, move on. I love running in I love this one.